hello friends welcome to share market friend again today I am going to uh, tell you about one magical idea that is called as magic of compounding so uh, many people uh, who are related to finance or who uh, work into financial world or so many people uh, know about this idea but uh, I will try to explain it uh, in more detail and I will try to show uh, why this idea is important for finance for business and for our uh, real life itself uh, if I tell you something about this idea that uh, this idea is one of the most favorite I ideas of the biggest investor of this century that is Warren Buffett uh, he likes this idea very much that is called as magic of compounding so first I will explain you uh, what is this magic of compounding and why it is called as magical idea and for why it is uh, necessary for you to invest early and why the people who invest early uh, get more than 10 times 20 times kind of return uh, why why that how that happens so first I'm showing just assume a person who is in his age of 25 26 27 running and in his initial earning years or whenever he gets money kind of pocket money or kind of uh, whenever from wherever sources he receives money he invests zero money in his initial 10 years he invests nothing actually uh, then he won't get a return uh, returns are uh, mentioned in this column it is a little bit complex uh, to understand this excel sheet but I will explain it uh, I will break it into a simple uh, parts okay so this is calculation for one person who has got at the age of 34 years zero return zero savings in his account and this is one uh, smart person uh, who is very careful about his investing and he knows the importance of investing and he understands why it is necessary to understand so he invests in kind of uh, basic a fixed deposit kind of instrument or you can call uh, any instrument kind of real estate or business or any where he is getting a fixed return annually of 8% I am assuming 8% uh, as a basic or simple plain vanilla calculation it may change uh, person to person or instrument to instrument or situation to situation so this is he is investing per month around 1000 okay so cumulatively he is getting around 12,000 at the end of year or collection of 12,000 and he is making every month he is making 1,000 FD that is 12,000 in investment in mutual fund or kind of thing and uh, suppose he is getting average return of 8% uh, per year so he will uh, with interest rate 12,000 plus interest rate eight at 8% 8 received that accumulates to 12,960 rupees then second year he again uh, collects 12,000 and then uh, he uh, this is 12,000 he second year collects 12,000 again and adds to this 12,960 it becomes 24,960 then 8% on that at the end of year he receives 26,957 so he repeats that same process and at the end of 10 years he gets 1,87,746,000 so you just uh, see initial, initial years uh, at the end of 10 years at the age of 35 34 this person a is getting zero rupees and the second person is getting around one like 87,000 and he continues to do the same so uh, there is a twist in this story uh, this second person stops investing because of some problem or he don't uh, want to invest further he has he thinks that he has invested he had invested a lot and he now he want wants to spend so he starts spending and the second person uh, the first person wakes up he thinks that I need to invest every month at least 1000 so every year he invests 12,000 and same thing like this uh, this person B he is doing and at the end of uh, 25 years of investing uh, doing this 8% earning and reinvesting the same amount he gets around 10 lakh uh, something rupees and this second person he stopped investing from his 10th year of investing he is spending a lot and he kept the same amount uh, into his uh, account uh, where he is getting 8% interest and same is getting reinvested kind of recurring deposit you can say okay so at the end of year 
at the end of uh, 36 years of investing this person is getting uh, 10 lakh and at the age of 60 this person is getting 10 lakh and this person is getting around 14 lakh so this person is getting whopping 40 percent more than this person so uh, you must be shocked to see this return uh, if you are new to this idea of magic of compounding if you know this it will be a, a basic explanation to you so this person is investing same amount for 25 25 years of his age for same interest rate same return kind of thing and this person has invested only 1 lakh 20 thousand for only initial 10 years and then he stopped investing for 25 years at the age of 60 for same interest rate he is getting 40 percent more so why this difference happen so its root cause uh, lies at this point when this person a started investing his initial amount on was he was getting interest rate and again that was getting reinvested it was basically 12,900 12,000 rupees or 12,960 rupees for second year but this person he was getting interest of 8% on the total sum of 1,87,000 that is little less than 2 lakh so it was in the range of uh, 10,000 to 12,000 so what he was investing per year he was getting as an interest per year so you can see the difference when you start to invest early and you invest and if you start to invest late uh, this difference happens uh, whatever return you get in the second case or uh, initial investing years the returns get compounded in the uh, remaining years and you get better returns because of compounding only so this is a magic of compounding if you start early if you are a student if you are just getting pocket money if you are if you are in your early job years please don't think that you will invest in your later years or you will get to save or you will get a more salary in your uh, later years or remaining part of or, uh, or or after 10 to 12 years you will start investing that will be a very drastically bad idea for your overall investing because anybody who is investing or, uh, or anybody who started investing early and even if he stopped investing and uh, you are at second end uh, where you are regularly investing for long term still you won't be able to beat that person even you will be lagging by 40 percent uh, compared to that person if the return is return and basic investment is considered same so uh, that is very important thing we need to teach our children we need to teach every person who has who has started to get money or uh, who has started to work or who has started to uh, get earning from any kind of uh, investment or any kind of uh, investment earning instrument uh, actually this principles apply to uh, our life also it applies to business also if you are doing uh, any business in your initial years or you are doing some kind of passive investment work or you are uh, doing any kind of constructive work that overall accumulates itself and gives you return then this same principle of compounding you can apply to here considering a fixed 4% 5% or 20% depending on the situation uh, rate of return just imagine if you are doing in initial years if you started your passive income or uh, business income in initial years you will be uh, at much much better position compared to people who start late or who are working uh, very hard in their late year so this uh, shows that if your work if you started doing the work in initial years if you started to invest instead of spending on bad things or uh, unnecessary things rather than bad thing unnecessary things in your initial years so that is important uh, we have a society where a lot of people have developed a mindset that in initial years earnings are for spending they are for luxury and all they don't want to save they want to spend so just by not saving in initial year even a small meager amount of 1000 per month or 100 rupees if you want to save if you talk about a, a basic income earner if you talk about a worker etc or if you're not earning too much then then also uh, it will make a big difference only thing you have to do is that whenever you get money uh, save some part of it because that is going to form a big a corpus of 
a big amount after few initial years and then it will get compounded and multiplied in multiple years uh, so I will show you another part of this story also or second part of it suppose this person continues uh, to invest uh, same 12,000 years if you put 12,000 years I have put formula into here okay so it will take automatically okay just you will be shocked to see that same person who has started investing early and this person uh, who is start who is in doing investment very late after 10 years just just see the result he is getting around 10 lakh in the range of money at the end of in his end years and this person is getting around 2 crore uh, 24 sorry 24 lakh this is around two times more earlier it was just uh, 0.4 times more now it is two and a half times near about more than the initial than the person who is saving uh, very late so that is what I wanted to show you if you have a uh, person to whom you can show this video who is not investing just show him this excel sheet or if you search on google uh, the magic of compounding you will get tons of articles tons of images explaining all these things actually this is a common principle known to all financial people who know why it is important to invest early they just tell the people that you start investing whenever you can whenever you can save money just save for uh, your initial investment and important thing is that you have to put it for earning if you keep your money idle in your account you are not earning any interest rate though you get a uh, three to two percent three to four percent interest rate in your current account but still uh, the higher interest rate higher earning uh, in if you are investing in share market I am not uh, saying that you get guaranteed return in share market but still if you are investing a basic index fund kind of thing you will be considering a positive scenario you will be accumulating a lot of uh, initial basic units of mutual fund and that will get accumulated giving you better returns in your uh, later part okay so that was all about uh, nifty uh, that was all about uh, magic of compounding or why it is important why it makes drastic change when you invest early and even if you stop investing in your later years still it performs better compared to uh, this first scenario now I will talk about or I will share my understanding about Nifty's today's moment today there was big accident of uh, Dr. Reddy's laboratories uh, which stock slide around 30 to 40 30 percent in a day's moment and then record back to three to four percent down only but uh, I'm seeing that a small kind of overall financial environment budget fear and financial environment fear is uh, slowly slowly creeping into the market though it has not showed its face completely but still a uh, small fear uh, is uh, trying to grip the market uh, we are still what I personally feel is that overall there is a strength in nifty uh, it is maintained by the moment of reliance the moment of HDFC or the big stalwarts who are holding the nifty at high uh, that is what I think that nifty is still into strength uh, but if the global uh, situation turns bad like America uh, China relation or overall fiscal deficit fear or rate cut fear etc uh, creep into the market then it can uh, it can or it could have a negative impact on overall market uh, though so many stocks were down even crude was increasing a lot that was creating uh, heavy pressure on refining margins of petroleum companies but still market remained high at upper edge of the overall channel in which it is moving so let's see what happens into the coming time so that was all about nifty and the magic of compounding if you like this video you can click on like if you want to share it with your friend uh, who is unaware of this magic of compounding you can share it with him please like the channel thank you very much for listening share market friend